the definition of the milling machine is that or mori machine is that look at this how we will define this output if the output of the machine depends on the present state only then that machine is known as a mori machine try to understand the concept always this is the generalized model for milli machine as well as for mori machine sir finite state machine yeah finite state machine we can have a, the two types maybe the mori machine or maybe the milli machine are you getting me fsm is a finite state machine and we can uh, encode or we can design the finite state machine by using one of the concept one concept is the mori machine concept and other concept is a milli machine concept it is understood that always you have already you have studied this concept in the second year or maybe in the before that just look at carefully and if anyone has any doubt please interrupt me mori machine i will discuss both concepts always a generalized model of sequential circuit is something like this we have the combination circuit we have the memory element and we have the combination circuit sometimes this combination circuit may be there may not be there this is optional sometimes this combination circuit may be there or may not be there generally we are applying the inputs here we are taking the outputs from here this is the memory element the output of the memory element is known as a present state of the machine and input to the memory element is known as a next state of the machine already i discussed we have the many misconceptions generally what we are saying output of the memory element we are saying as a next state it is absolutely wrong the output of the memory element is known as a present state of the machine and input to the memory element is known as a next state of the machine now look at how is the definition of the mori machine the mori machine can be defined as it is a machine whose output depends on the present state of the machine only present state pe depend hota hai yani ki ye memory element hai iska output jo hai only iske output pe depend hota hai and maybe the part of the combination circuit but it depends on only this part that's why this machine is known as a mori machine definition of the mori machine is it is a machine whose output purely depends on the present state of the machine that's it about the definition of the mori machine i will come back to the definition of the milli machine and i will take the questions from your side if any the milli machine is a machine whose output depends on the present state of the machine as well as input of the system yahan pe input hoga is it right so here the output will depend on output of the memory element which is the present state as well as this input may be connected to this combination part or to the output that machine is known as a milli machine i will repeat one second the milli machine is a machine whose output depends on the two things one is the state of the machine which is generally the present state of the machine and input of the system and mori machine is a machine whose output depends on only one parameter and that parameter is the present state of the machine so in dono ka definition ko main ek minute mein differentiate karta hu and then i will come back to you the milli machine is a machine whose output depends on the two things that is present state of the machine as well as input of the system and mori machine is the machine whose output depends on present state of the machine only is it clear anyone has any doubt if you have any doubt please raise your hand or just unmute yourself i will uh, clarify your doubts yes anyone understood sir yes okay fine miss milli machine pe milli machine mein output do cheezon pe depend hota hai one is the present state of the machine and other is the input of the system and mori machine mein kya hoga its output purely depends on the present state of the machine only is it right now i will start discussion about this is 
the hardware I'm planning to design, the same hardware I will try to implement by using the Miller machine and I will same hardware trying to implement by using the Murray machine and how is the preparation of the FSM that I'm trying to discuss. What we are planning to design? We are planning to design the serial adder. How is the serial adder? It is full adder and in one clock cycle it will find out the addition of the one number. Something like this. At the present clock cycle, this is the A input. This is another input, which is the B input. This is another input, that is the carry. In one clock cycle, this is AI. Now suppose we have here a shift register. Here is another shift register. And here is the another shift register. Is it right? This is 8 bit, suppose. This is 8 bit. This is also 8 bit. How the system operates that I am discussing first and then we will try to find out its logic to develop the finite state machine which is of the Miller type and as well as the Moore type. Now in this case I am assuming this is A0 and here it is the A7. Similarly this is the B0 and this is the B7. Similarly, here, this is the sum 0 and this is the sum 7. How this machine operates? Here will be the clock. This may be the positive H trigger or maybe the similar to that. Maybe level trigger, but I will prefer the positive H In During the first clock cycle, look at what happens. During the first clock cycle, during the first clock cycle, this A0, this B0 will be applied to this full adder. This is full adder. This is FA. Single bit full adder. This is FA. This A0 will be available here. B0 will be available here. And its summation is carried out. And summation will be available here. And this carry will be stored in the memory element. It's carry. And this carry will be utilized for the next addition. Now, during the second clock cycle, we will take the data. Here will be A1, which is this. And here will be the B1. And this carry will be utilized here, which is the carry from the C previous state, that C01 plus 1, is, it is a C1, and these three things are, will be added here, and some one will be available here, and the next carry will be stored here, and so on. In this way, the circuit will function, and we are planning to design this hardware using one of the concept, I will start designing the same thing using the concept which is the Miller machine. I will take the difference between the Miller machine what, uh, at the end of this particular unit, but uh, right now I will start the discussion about the Miller machine. What is the Miller machine? It is a machine in which output depends on the two things, that is input of the system as well as state of the machine. Now look at here. In this case, if the output, this output depends on input of the system as well as state of the machine, this is state of the machine, or to be exact, output of the memory element is the present state of the machine. This machine is known as a, the Miller machine. Now first we have to predict, we have to find out the number of states required. We have to find out the number of states required. So, how we will predict the number of states? Look at carefully. The things which we have to remember, the thing which we have to memorize, that is nothing but that will give the number of states. Now, in this case, in single clock cycle, what we are doing? In this case, in single clock cycle, we are finding the addition. To find out the addition, what we have to remember? 
आई एम कमिंग बैक टू यू मैं आपसे पूछता हूं कि अगर हमें एडिशन करना है तो हमें क्या ध्यान में रखना पड़ता है ऐसी कौन सी चीजें हमें रिमेंबर करना पड़ता है यस एनी वन यस इनपुट जो आ रहे हैं नहीं इनपुट तो अवेलेबल रहेगा व्हाट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर देखो एक नंबर आई विल गिव वन नंबर दिस मे बी वन 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 एंड दिस मे बी द जीरो यस एनी वन कुछ ऐसे नंबर्स है इसका एडिशन करना क्या रिमेंबर करना पड़ेगा रिमेम्बर दिस कैरी Is it right? Now, how many carries we have? How many possibilities are the carries we have in case of the serial letter or in case of the binary numbers? Binary numbers, numbers may carry. How many options will be? Uh, one, one new option. One new option. No, the two options will be there. Carry may be zero. Carry may be one. Look, here. Here, how many carry did I have? जीरो था यहां पे कैरी कितना आया वन हो सकता है अगर ये नंबर जीरो होता तो यहां पे कैरी कितना आता जीरो मीन्स देर टू थिंग्स वी हैव टू रिमेंबर एज अ कैरी कैरी मे बी जीरो और कैरी मे बी वन एंड इफ वी हैव द टू स्टेट्स हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स वी शुड हैव टू मीन्स कैरी मे बी जीरो और कैरी मे बी वन These are the two states. Means, जितने चीजें हमें ध्यान में रखना है उतने हमारे स्टेट होते हैं आई यू गेटिंग मे नाउ वी हैव टू रिमेंबर कैरी एज जीरो और वी हैव टू रिमेंबर कैरी एज अ वन दैट्स वाई वी विल हैव अ टू स्टेट एंड इफ वी हैव द टू स्टेट वट इज द नंबर ऑफ फ्लिप लॉप रिक्वायर्ड वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दैट द टू रेस्ट पॉवर नंबर ऑफ फ्लिप लॉप रिक्वायर्ड इज इक्वल टू टू रेस्ट पॉवर ऑफ एन दिस इज Number of flip flops required. These are the number of states. These are the number of states, and these are the flip flops required. The small n is the flip flops required. Now, if we have here, if we have here, just wait. I am coming back to you. If we have here the two states, which is equal, to how many flip flops we need? Two is part of n. To justify this relation, what should be the n? N should be. One. This is the number of flip flops required. Means in this case, if we have the two states or two carry conditions, in that case we need the single flip flop because one flip flop, this flip flop can store the carry as one or the same flip flop can store the carry as zero. Means in conclusion, in conclusion, if we are planning to design this particular system, we will have two states. One state may be carry is equal to zero is one state and carry is equal to is another state. Carry is equal to one is another state. And to design the similar system, we need one flip flop. Now uh, about the hardware, we no need to bother about the hardware. Just I am coming back to you. Is it right? Now look at here this part. If anyone has any query, any difficulty, just uh, Unmute yourself because I have not not locked anyone. Just unmute yourself and ask your difficulty. Is it right? Now we are planning to design the system. Yeah, this may be the clock of the system. Now how many much states we have? We understood that. Look at here. Uh, these things are little tricky. We have to be very careful. This state I am taking. This is the one state which is A state, and this is another state. Which is the B state? Is it right? The things which we have to remember is the carry. So here, we carry. There are two possibilities. Can happen. That's why we will have the two states. Now look at how is this combination? We will have the two states. One state is the A state, and another state is the B state. Is it right? A state for sake of simplicity, I am writing here. No need to write this kind of this statement, but I am writing here. Carry 
is equal to 0 is the A state and carry is equal to 1 is the another state. Is it right? Now, I am assuming initially our present state is the A state. Present state is the A state. And this A state is the power on reset state. Power on reset state. Here may be the another terminal which is the reset. RST. Otherwise, we will do the reset. It will come to the A state. Otherwise, when we will power on, it will come to the A state. That is my state which is the power on reset state. Is it right? Now, in the A state, how many possibilities of the inputs are there? And in the B state, how many possibilities of the inputs are there? In the A state, 0 may be 0 and B0 may be 0. How many possibilities of A0 and B0 or A and B are there? Maybe 0, 0, maybe 0, 1, maybe 1, 0 or maybe 1, 1. These are the possibilities. Is it right? We will cover all the possibilities and I guess, uh, I think you are aware of how is the designing of the state's machine using the Millet concept and the Murray concept? Uh, I hope the things are known to you. Yes or no? Yes. Aapko pata hai na kaise design karna hota hai? Yes, I'm waiting Master. for... Yeah, okay. Fine. It's fine. Now, present state is the A. Miss, how much is the carry? Carry is the zero. This is carry. This is present state. This is present state. What are the first possibility of the input? Zero, zero. Now, what is the sum? Sum is a zero. And how much is the carry? Sum is the zero and carry is also zero. For this input, this is the present state and this is the next state. Present state is the carry. Next state is the carry after the summation. If the inputs are 0, 0 and present carry is 0, sum is the 0 and next carry is also 0. Means in this case, if we are in the state A, look at this, how will be the diagram? Inputs are 0, 0, then output will be 0. Output is 0. In the Miller state diagram, we are writing something like this. Outputs can be written like something like this. If inputs are 0, 0, output will be 0. And what is the next state? What is the next carry? Carry is equal to 0. Means we will remain in the same state because here also we have the carry is equal to 0. Are you getting me? Similarly, we are assuming present state that is carry 0. And inputs are 0, 1. What is the summation about this? What is this summation? This summation is sum is equal to 1 and carry is equal to 0. This is the present state of the machine, present carry. This is the next state of the machine. What is the next carry? What is the next carry? 0. Next carry is 0, means we will remain in the same state. Means what I mean to say, when inputs are 0, 1, output will be 1, but then state will be the same. We are going to be remain in the same state. That I mean to say. Is it right? Similarly, if we are, just wait. In the present state, which is A, and inputs are 1, 0. What is the summation? Summation is a 1, and what is the carry? 0. This is the present state. This is the next state of the machine. Are you getting me? Carry is a state. We have taken the carry as a state or carry the thing which is to be remembered as a state. Present carry is zero. What is the next carry? Zero. Means we are going to remain in the same state. Means whenever inputs are one zero, output will be one. 
but carry will be zero that's why we will be in the same state similarly i'm taking something like this now look at here we are in the present state we are in the present state a that is carry is equal to zero and inputs are one one now what is the sum what is the carry in this case 1 plus 1 is the 2 means sum is the 0 and carry is the 1 now look at what is the present state here and what is the next state here present state is 0 next state is a 1 and one state we have the state B that's why whenever we are in the A state and inputs are 1 1 what will be the output? Zero. This is the output. Output will be zero. This is the output of the system. This is the output of the system. This is again output of the system. This is again output of the system. In this case, this present state is the carry. This one is the next state is again carry. When inputs are one one with present state as a state that is zero, the sum will be zero, but carry will be the one means indirectly when we are in the a state that is carry is equal to 0 inputs are 1 1 then output will be 0 but the carry will be the one that's why the next state will be the one these are the things when present state is the a state that is carry is equal to 0 in a similar way we will do its analysis when we are in the state b Again, in the state B, we have to check all possible combinations of the inputs. That we will do here. Now, what I will assume? I will assume the present state is the B state. Are you getting me? The present state is the B state. Then what will be the next state? Means we are assuming we are in the same state and we will check the possible combinations of the input. The next state may be the B, next state may be the A because we have the two possible states. Now here in this case, the present state is the B. What is the B? B is carry is equal to 1. Now with this, I will check the first combination. Inputs are 0, 0. Now in this case, what will be the next state and what will be the output? This is the present state, that is carry is 1. This is input A, this is input B. Now. If we are doing this summation, if we are doing this addition, sum will be the 1 and how much is the carry? 0. This sum is nothing but our output. This is our output. And this is our carry and that carry is nothing but the next state. This is carry is the state. If we have the present carry, present state. If we have the next state, our next carry, next state. Is this is the next state after the summation means when we are in a state that is carry is equal to 1 which sorry b state which is carry is equal to 1 and inputs are 0 0 output will be the 1 next state will be the 0 next state is 0 means carry is equal to 0 means something like this it is something like this something like this i will uh, write here something like this when we are in the B state, inputs are 0, 0, output will be the 1. Look at this present state is carry is equal to 1, inputs are 0, 0, output is the 1. That's why I have written output 1. What are the inputs? Inputs are 0, 0. What is the next state? This next state is 0, that is carry is equal to 0, will be the next state. Something like this. We have checked one input, 0, 0. We will check other possible combinations of the inputs. Now here present state is again the same, which is 1. Carry is equal to 1 because we are in the B state. We are checking for B. What is the possible combination of the input? 0, 1. Because we have 0, 0 check here. Next is 0, 1. Now what is the sum and what is the carry here? Sum is 0. Now how much is the carry? Carry is the 1. This is the present state this is a input this is b input this is the output of the system and this will be the next state of the system now look at here what is the present state 
present state is carry one what is the next state next state is also carry one means we will going to be rem remain in the same state when we are in the b state inputs are 0 1 output will be 0 and we will be in the same state that i am trying to say here something like this when we are in the b state input as 0 1 what will be the output output will be 0 what is the next state next state that is nothing but carry carry is equal to 1 means we will remain in the same state that i mean to say is it right we will remain in the same state i will check next possibility what is the next possibility carry is equal to 1 because we are in the b state agar hum b state mein hai and input will be 1 0 how much is the sum and how much is the carry that we will discuss here. in this case sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 again this is our present state this is our next state this is our output and these are the two our inputs now how i will write when we are in the b state this is present state b state that's why carry is equal to one when inputs are one zero what is output inputs are one zero output will be zero and what is the next state next state look at this next state is a one that is nothing but carry is equal to one indirectly it is the b state itself is it right now we will check the last possibility what is the last possibility when we are in the b state what is the b state carry is equal to one and the possibility of the input is one one look at this possibility what we will have this is the present state this is the a input this is the b input 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 how old is the 3 in the binary 1 1 is it right out of that this one is the output this one is the carry which is the next state now how will you say this thing when the present state is the B state that is carry is equal to 1. Thus, inputs are 1, 1. Inputs are 1, 1. Output will be the 1. As well as the carry will be the 1. This we will remain in the B state itself. Is it right? And this is the state diagram for. This is the state diagram for. Serial ladder using milli machine concept the same thing i will try to show you through the powerpoint and i will come to the discussion of the how will be the vsdl code for this <clears throat> look at this this is the two table for serial adder 0 plus 0 plus 0 sum is 0 carry 0 i have discussed with these things one sum is one and carry 0 and so on present state this is c input carry this are the c in that is present state is the a. and this is the next state now look at carefully this is the present state input carry and this is the next state if the present carry is 0, inputs are 0, 0, output will be the 1 and next state will be the same state. When present state is the carry is equal to 0, that is A state, inputs are 0, 1, sum will be the 0 and next state will be the same state. Because state 0 is nothing but carry is equal to 0, that is A state. Present state is A, inputs are 1, 0, sum is a 1. And the next state is 1. Now look at when we are in the present state for 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 input, what is the next state? The same state. And when present state is a 0, inputs are 1, 1, sum will be 0, and next state will be the 1. Carry is equal to 1, that is the B state. And same thing we have discussed through this. Look at this. 
This is the descent table. Same thing I have written. Miss here for these three inputs when the present state is the A state, the next state will be the A state. When present state is the A state, inputs are 1, 1. Output will be 0, but next state will be the carry is equal to 1, that is B state. Look at here, this part. Present state is the A state. Are you able to see this part? Present state is the A state. Look at here. This is A state. Inputs are 1, 1. The next state, output will be 0 and next state will be the B state. Uh, sorry, B state here, which is carry is equal to 1 and so on. And these are the steps when present state is a 1. Look at here. Present state is a 1. Inputs are 0, 0. Some will be 0 and next state will be the 0. Miss A state. Look at this part. Jab haan, B state mein te, input 0, 0 tha. Look at here. This part. In that case, we are back coming back to the A state. And for these three inputs, uh, this state with these three inputs, these are the outputs, but the present state will be the same state. So, ek, dusra, or tisra, itenu ke liye same state. That I mean to say. Is it right? I am coming back again. Look at this. I have tried to mention here. The same PPT I will upload in the Google class. Present state is A. Inputs are 0, 0. Next state will be the same state. For Look at this table again. I am trying to show you here. This is for present state is 0. Uh, that is carry is equal to 0. Then uh, inputs are 0, 0. Sum is 0 and carry is 0. This carry is nothing but the next state. This carry is nothing but the present state. Are you getting me? Similar to that. For 0, 1 also. For 1, 0 also, the present state is the same thing. For the fourth input, it will be, the next state will be the B. Then coming back, then coming back, coming back, and something like this. Is This will be, this will be the final state diagram, which I have discussed with you. This is the state diagram. For these three inputs, we will be in the same state. For this input, we will transit from, change from A state to B state. And from this, uh, this input, we will change from the B state to A state. And the same thing I have tried to mention in the table. Now, carry is equal to 0. Look at this table. Just I have copied this table. This table ko maine copy kiya hai. Just look at this. This table I have copied. But in place of 0, I have written present state. In place of the 0, I have written present state as a, a state. And for 1, I have written as a B. Jahan pe 1 tha, wahan pe B likha hai maine. Jahan pe 0 tha, wahan pe A likha hai. The same table I have copied here. Look at this. Present state is A. Inputs are 0, 0. Next state will be the A. And output, that is sum, will be 0 and so on. These are the four conditions for present state as A. And these are the four inputs, possibilities of the inputs for present state as a B. For A state, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. For B states, again 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Same thing we have checked. And this will be the table. Now, we will discuss about how to write the VSDL code for any state diagram. If you are able to prepare the state diagram, believe me, writing the VSDL code for that is not the difficult. Is not the difficult thing. Is it right? Now look at here. How will be the VSDL code for that? First, we have to prepare the black box. Now, when the state diagram is available with me, I will copy this state diagram. The state diagram. So, what I am assuming? I am assuming the state diagram is available with me. This is the state diagram which we have prepared. The same same state diagram I am copying here. The same state diagram I have copied here. Nothing else. Is ko many copy here. For 1, 0, output will be 0. Next state will be the B and so on. Now, if this is my state diagram, how to write the VSDL code that I am discussing? That I am discussing. Look at here. How will be that code? I am starting here. Here, I have forgot one thing to mention. That is power on reset. This. 
This is the sequential circuit. So it should have a clock. Now look at how will it be? Now look at how will it be? I will write here something like this. Here will be my power on reset. Just wait. I am writing here. This will be my, just wait. This will be my power on reset. This is RS, power on reset. Now what our system should have? that I am discussing. This is serial adder underscore mele, ME. Just that much I will write. Otherwise, I can copy its complete name. Is it right? ME. That is mele. Now, what it will have? It will have clock. Because if we are saying that Sequential circuit, it should have clock. Just look at this. We have the clock. Then we will have reset. Then we will have input A. We will have input B. This is right. And we will have output which is sum. Now this will be the black box of my system. This will be the black box of my system. With this black box, now we will start writing VSDL code. I will start. Library IEEE IEEE Writing the VSDL code for state diagram is very simple. Library I triple. Here I will use use I triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all. These are the two libraries we are using. Now Entity declaration will start with reserve word entity followed by the name of the entity. The name of the entity which I am using is serial underscore adder underscore me that is mele design that is the name I am using. Entity followed by the name of the entity is this is is then port list. Here it is port. How many ports we have for the system? Look at here. We have the clock here. We have the reset. We have the input A. We have the input B. Followed by the colon. Followed by the in. Available in std underscore logic followed by the semicolon, right? Similarly, we have the output, which is the sum available as out and available in std underscore logic, followed by the bracket, followed by the semicolon. And finally, we will have end of the entity. Is it right? Finally, it is the end of the entity. That is end SCR underscore adder underscore million followed by the semicolon. Look at this part. This is library declaration. This is entity declaration. It's right. Look at here. Now I will change one thing here. I did a little uh, mistake. I will correct it and then we will proceed further. Here State could be naam de re A, B. Inputs could be naam de re A and B. I will change the name of the inputs to the other name that is X and Y. Which or naam de te hai. Are you getting me? That's why I will change this name, because we don't confuse the two names. 
this is x and this is y so that i need to do the two changes here which is x is my one input and y is my another input x and y right now i'm using the architecture now look at this architecture followed by the name of the architecture i will use the architecture followed by the name of the architecture which is behavioral of name of the entity which is serial underscore adder underscore me just wait this is me each this is right this is architecture and whenever we are using coding of the state diagram coding of the state diagram state diagram ko jab bhi hame code karna hai when we are going to code the state diagram we will have the two processor we have to use the two processors before that we will have begin of the architecture here but as always mentions to you all the declaration except variable declaration should be before the begin of the architecture to yahan pe jo states hai whatever the states we have taken here a and b these states we have to define under enumerated data type declaration how will be that declaration look at type this is reserve word followed by the user defined name states followed by is the type state states is a user defined word you can uh, keep it as a state state machine state table whatever you wish here but it should not be the reserve word type state is how many states we have a comma b we have the two states that is the declaration of the states while designing the state diagram if we have 100 states mention those 100 states here if we have the two states mention those this uh, two states here then we have to declare two signals of the states category which is the present state and the next state are you getting me signals i will define or i will declare the signals what are signals signals are next state comma present state and these two signals are of state category because these are the next state and present state these signals are of the states category whatever you have written here same we have to write here states category states and these two declarations are mandatory or compulsory to complete the vsdl code using any concept maybe mele or more with the state diagram means whenever the state diagram is available with us and we want to code this then we will have the number of states yahan pe kitne states hai aapko ya is declaration mein dikhana hai aur aapko signals do dikhana hai because sometimes i am calling this state as a present state sometimes i am calling this state as a present state and other is the next state that i mean to say then here is a begin of the architecture and in the begin of the architecture we have the two processes one process is known as sequential process one process is known as sequential process i will call it as seq colon process the process can be named process or process can be unnamed process but if we have the multiple processes if we are using then it should be better practice to give the name to that process here sequential process and 
In this case, sensitivity list is reset and clock. Probably this process functioning that we are trying to mention. This is the begin of the process. In the begin of the process, I am trying to mention the two things here. If reset is equal to 1, then what should be our present state? Present state will be assigned as a state A. Miss, hum reset ke saath ki state mein rahenge, that we mean to say. Else if this clock is equal to 1 and this clock tick event then clock tick event then present state is assigned as the next state. Present state is assigned as next state and here is the end if and here is the end process. Miss, we are defining about reset and clock only in this process. This process may hum reset pe kya karenge or clock ki kya karenge. This is clock statement. It will not have the else clause that we are defining. And we will copy this state diagram in combinational process or in other process. This is one process. And this process will be common wherever we have this state diagram. State diagram, jahan pe bhi aayega, yitna part to common hi rega, just similar to the copy paste. And we will have other process that I will name combinational process. This is another process. And in this process, Sensitivity list is input A, input B, sorry, not the A and B because we have changed the input as X and Y. Input X, input Y and present state. P underscore S. PS nahi lik sakte present state ko because this is picosecond, reserve word. NS nahi lik sakte because it is nanosecond. That's why I have written P underscore S and I have written N underscore S. Deliberately. It's right. Case PS is just I will take five minutes. This is the begin of the process, second process. This is the begin of the process. And I will use the case statement here. You can use the if statement also. Up if statement be use kar sakte hai. Lekin may yahape use karna chata hum. Case statement. Case, look at this. How is the simple writing the VSD? Case PS is. What is the PS? Present state. Case PS is. Look at here. What are the two possibilities we have? When A, this is directed as. How is the truth table? Look at that. And we are in a position to write the VSDL code. Look at this. When we are in the A state, if input is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, we will be in the same state. Otherwise, when inputs are 1, 1, only this is the changing condition. Inputs 1, 1 rahenge, to hum B state mein jayenge, otherwise this is state mein rahenge. That I am typed right here. When A, I am checking the If X is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 1, then Look at this. When both are 1, 1, next state will be the B. And what will be the output? 0. I will write here. Sum will be 0. And the next state will be the B state. Is it right? LC. Ye kis ke liye hoga? 1 1 ke liye hoga. 
Is it right? Look at this. If we are in the A state, inputs are 1, 1, output will be 0, and the next state will be this, that is the B state. Is it right? Now, I am coming back. For 0, 0, output is 0. I will write the same to you, else if, else if, if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, then sum is equal to 0 again. And what is the next state? Next state is assigned as the same state, that is A state. Else. Iske alawa, yahan pe dekho, sum. Ye dono ka, iska sum alaga, ye dono ka sum hai. Otherwise, maybe 0, 1 or maybe 1, 0. If we are in the A state, output will be the 1 and next state will be the A state. Same thing I am writing. Sum will be the 1. Just wait. Else else this sum is assigned as 1 and the next state will be the same state. Here it is 0, hai. otherwise everything is the same and here it will be end if. Is it right? This one state we have taken, this when A. Same code we will repeat for when B and then we are able to complete this code. I will write here when B, when we are in the B state, this is directed as the same code I will copy. We are in the same state. For 0, 0, output will be the one we will come back to the A state. For 0, 0, I will write that. Look at here. If x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, look at this, then what is the output? Look at here. This output will be the 1 and next state will be the A. Means here, my output that is the sum. My output is the sum and sum will be assigned as 0. Look at this. What is the sum? Some, sorry, some will be the one. I will correct it. I will correct it. In this case, I will correct it. The sum will be the one. This sum will be the one. And what is the next state? Next state is assigned as the A. Huh? B state mein hai tab soch. When we are in the B state, look at, when we are in the B state, inputs are 0, 0, output will be the 1, and next state will be the A, and for remaining, for these inputs, I will write the code here. Else if, look at here, else if, I will take one of the condition, and I will end. Else if, for 1, 1, output is 1. For inputs, we are present state is a B, inputs are 1, 1, output will be the 1 and we will remain in the same state and baki ke liye 0, 0. That's why I will con consider this. Is it right? Else if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, then. What is the output? Output is 1. Look at this. That is sum is assigned as 1 and what is the next state? Sum is assigned as 1 and the next state will be the same state which is the B state. Else, else otherwise, otherwise what we have? Sum will be 0. Look at this. For both conditions, sum will be the 0. That's why else this sum is assigned as the sum is assigned as 0 and the next state is assigned as the B state itself. It will be end if. This is end of the if state. And then we will have here end of the k statement. We will have here end of the k statement. It is end case. And finally it will be end process and lastly we will have 
end of the architecture. It will be end BEH. That is behavioral. This is the BHD code. Yeh thoda sa difficult lag sakta hai. But when we will take another example related to the state diagram, you are able to find that the first process is the duplication in each case and the second process will depend on the state diagram. Means if we have the state diagram with you, then writing the BSDL code is not difficult. That's it from my side. I will stop here. In the next class, I will discuss about another example. Thank you.